In this video, I want to talk about a new feature in Napalm. In particular, I want to talk about the Napalm commit plus confirm feature. So currently, as of when I'm recording this, the this commit com plus confirm feature is supported on Arista EOS and Juniper Junos. It very likely will be added to some additional platforms across time, but that's what we have as of right now. So now just a little bit of a quick review of some of Napalm's standard configuration methods. So we have some methods for loading configuration. So we have a load replace configuration, or excuse me, load replace candidate. So you can load in a full configuration in as a candidate configuration. If you want to load in a partial configuration, you can do the load merge candidate. Now in both those cases, those files are just staged as a candidate configuration. Now you can perform a diff. This will compare your loaded staged candidate configuration to the current running configuration and tell you the differences. You can also commit the change. So this will copy that candidate configuration into both the running configuration and the startup configuration. Then you can also use the discard config method. So if you want to discard, you've staged your candidate configuration using either load replace, load merge. You want to discard that candidate configuration. You can just use the discard config method. And then finally, Napalm has this rollback method. So you've went all the way through the process of staging the config, the candidate config, committing the candidate config and then you decide hey i want to fully roll that back i want to undo that change that i'd previously done you can roll back to the previous config before you did those operations using the rollback method so these are the standard napalm configuration methods now in with the commit confirm feature we've added some new methods and we've also added some additional arguments so the situation for commit plus confirm is you're making a change. And sometimes we don't know if that change can impact something operationally on the device, which could include cutting ourselves off from access to the device. Now, potentially you have an out of band solution for how you can get into the device, but in certain situations, it might be good. It might be nice to have a way to say, Yes, I'm going to commit this config, but if I don't do a follow on second confirmation, then automatically roll back to the previous state. So that's what we're doing with this commit plus confirm feature. Now, what are the changes? What are the things that are new with this feature? So the first thing is we're going to add this revert in argument to the commit config method. And this is a number of seconds. So it defaults to be none. But if you specify a number of seconds, then what's going to happen when Napalm, when you do a commit config revert in, say for example, revert in 180, then Napalm is going to do a commit confirm. So it's going to commit your config. So your candidate configuration is going to propagate from its current state into the running config. And then if you do not confirm it within a certain number of seconds, that number of seconds you specified within revert in, Napalm, or more exactly, the underlying platform will automatically roll back the change. Now note, what we're doing here is not kept track of with Napalm. It's going to be a platform operation. So the rollback will automatically happen by the platform. So even if you're disconnected from the device, from a Napalm perspective, the rollback will occur. Now there's a few new methods, or actually two new methods that have been added to support the commit plus confirm feature. So the first new method that has been added is this has pending commit method. This is going to return a Boolean. So it's going to return either a true or a false. And it's going to indicate, do we have a pending commit confirm? So we've done a commit config, but we've specified the revert in, and we're still in that intermediate period of when the revert in timer has not expired. So there is a pending commit confirm in process. Now, when you decide you want to fully commit the config, i.e. you want to confirm, then we have this separate confirm commit method. Now, what if you have a commit config with a revert in in process, i.e. you have a pending commit confirm and you want to cancel it, you want to abort it without having to wait for the timer to expire, then you can just go ahead and execute the rollback. That will clear that pending commit confirm and roll back your configuration to the previous config, i.e. the one that existed 
before your commit. And then obviously you could also just let the timer expire. So you could let the revert in timer expire and at the end of that time the config would be rolled back to the previous configuration. The has pending commit would be cleared and you would be back to where you started. So this is the commit confirm feature in Napalm. In the next video, I'm going to cover some example using Napalm's commit plus confirm feature. So I'm going to cover using the revert in when we do a commit. I'm going to talk about how we can do the confirm of that commit. I'm going to show you how we can roll back that commit, i.e. basically just discard that pending commit confirm. And I'm also going to show you the behavior of what happens when we just let the commit confirm timer expire. I also wanted to bring up one brief announcement. I wanted to let you know that we're going to be running a free course on Python for Network Engineers starting on June 1. I have the link to the sign up page below. We run this course periodically, so if you miss the June 1 deadline, you can just join the next upcoming session.